You should do like a series, like you bring over different people and do mukbangs. Sure. I think that's what she's doing, right? I don't know. I didn't know if this was I would like, I would see how like this one performs. Hi, my name is Lizzie, and today I'm doing a mukbang with my friends Jenny and Bria. Say hi. Uh, your words. <laughs> I have no words. Hello. <laughs> so we ordered from BJ's the restaurant, and uh, this is a realistic mukbang. It might not look like all the YouTuber mukbangs that you've seen, but we're not going to waste food here, okay? Period. This is what realistically three people can eat. We also have bazookis that we'll eat later, so we can't have a BJ's mukbang without having pizzukis. If you don't know what those are, they're like a cookie baked in like a little tin, so it kind of looks like a pizza, but because they do pizzas there, it, whatever. It's a cookie with ice cream on it, and it's delicious. Okay, I got the Parmesan crusted chicken. We got spinach artichoke dip and chips. We got mozzi sticks. What'd you get? I got a French dip with some coleslaw and fries. Mm -hmm. And what'd you get? Well, I am trying to be a healthy queen, so I got uh, Brussels sprouts and... <laughs> My what Caesar is that? <laughs> what did you put on it? My Caesar salad with my uh, rice cakes. Ideal protein uh, rice cakes. <laughs> They're buttered popcorn. It's actually really good. It's addicting. Um, yeah, that's what you said when you tried to get me to try them, and I was like, this <laughs> Oh yeah, it They're tastes like air. They're not bad. She likes something more than you. This is a first. She's everybody. picky too. Yeah, but you're the yeah, pickiest. You're pickier. Yeah. It's a rice cake. Like I know, but like you, you're adding it to your salad. You like it that much? I mean, That's what I forgot <laughs> to order. <laughs> I forgot to order a protein. I wanted to get wings, and y'all were like, no. And so then I was like, okay. And then I forgot to order a protein. <laughs> well, so. we didn't want wings. I mean, you couldn't get wings. I know. Oh, Jenny. It's okay. Take them home. I'll have a mozzarella. All right, let's eat. Can no. I have a Mott's? No. Are we about to cuss on this over yeah. this channel? <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> <laughs> these are good. Oh, these are hot. Yeah, I, I zapped them. Oh, oh, she zapped them. She was mad at us <laughs> that we, uh... <laughs> they had me running errands before we picked up the food, and we were like, pick up the food! And the food was cold. She was stressed! It's still good. My god! Okay, so okay, we're here. This looks really good. This is what I get every time. And it comes with like two of these little breast fillets, and so I normally have lunch for tomorrow as well. Mm. Oh my god. You it can make so that. Good. You can have the other fillet. There you go. It's a win win, it's everybody. On, um, counter. James, can you pass over the other Thank you. Thank you, James. There's also some broccoli, but. Oh, there's your protein. Wow. I have a new love for BJ's. Mm. How's your. Did you eat your friendship yet? Yeah, it's beautiful. Everything I would have hoped for. Okay, I have questions for us to discuss. We're spilling tea. Hit me. Question number one. How did we meet? <laughs> well, <laughs> I know how we met. Well, the overarching story of how we met is that we all worked at full screen together. Um, 2016? Yeah. Mm hmm 2016? Well, well, 2015 yeah. is when we started. I started in 2016. Mm. I was an intern, an unpaid intern at 23. <laughs> we were unpaid. And then I was hired on officially the day the Grammys happened, and they had me come in and work on a Sunday. And my gram or my aunt died on the day before. Oh, oh my god! Like, and you're like, what yeah. did I get myself into? And I was no, I was like, I need to work. Mm. But in hindsight, I was like. Wow, I really should have like had more self respect for myself. <laughs> you don't know these things when no. you're just no. getting started. I was never an intern. I've never been an intern. I talked about that today at work. <laughs> I've, I've never I've, been an intern. I never interned because I dropped out of college when I moved here. Oh, but I got a job like, immediately. It builds character. Mm -hmm. You have to deal with a lot of bullshit. A lot of bullshit. Um, Wait, you were an intern at full screen? Yeah, she was an yeah. intern. I didn't deal with bullshit at full screen like you did. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't that full screen, but... Bria, I can't believe how, like, little you worked at full screen when it, it feels like you were there through all, with all of us. But it you was, were there, how like, was it? From March, March to October. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Not even a year. And we are still friends. This mm -hmm. bitch is in my wedding. And this mm -hmm. bitch. Mm-hmm. That's crazy! Yep. Wow. I worked at full screen for six years. Jenny, wow, was it four? Almost for four. That wow. was a long time for both of you. Mm -hmm. mm. If you don't know, like I'm more like three, but the agency life or like digital or even when you're young, any career, Social like media. staying at a company for that long is a long time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Because, like, sometimes when I'm like, oh, they've worked there for six years, like, it's, like, an old person, like, an older man or something, I'm like, yeah, okay, what, that's, like, like, before I had jobs, I was like, people work at places for 20 years, what do oh, you yeah. mean? Um, our parents did. Right, our parents did. Yeah, dip, dip, dip. Go for it. And so, yeah, when you say, like, oh, I worked there for six years, that that's a long time. Oh, my God, and I had, like, four jobs during that six years. Yeah. <laughs> and a lot of it was hard. And weird situations like that, like... A lot um, of long hours. Mm-hmm. Especially when we were, like, coordinators, like, newer. Oh, my God. <laughs> they would just get us to do anything. And mm-hmm. we were being paid 40000 a year. To stay until the, op- stay stay in the work- office till 10 p.m. Working on Christmas Day. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, I was yeah. in Texas uploading the Deadpool 2 trailer at 2 a.m. Because it came out at midnight here. Um, on Christmas Eve. I can't. <laughs> like, our, the number of hours in a week that we worked compared to our salary, it, it was probably, like, around minimum Oh, yeah. Wage. Yeah. Lizzie and I were on the same team, uh-huh. so that's how I became friends with you. Yeah. And took us out to the food trucks for lunch on, like, my first day interning, and she was like, oh, this is Lizzie. Like, she has a YouTube channel. And I was <laughs> like, oh, my God, this girl is so cool. <laughs> So, clearly I had to be friends with her, and then me and Jenny, you and I were both interns, so we were in our trainings together and mm-hmm. stuff yeah. like that. Jenny and I, like, started around the same time mm-hmm. when you started your internship, because we were, like, new hires, and we had, like, lunch together because yeah. we were the new girls. Yeah. That kind of leads into my other question, was what was your first impression of each other? Oh, I loved you guys. <laughs> I don't really remember. I loved you guys. You just said you thought I was cool. I thought you were cool, but I don't remember what I thought of Jenny. Oh, I I knew Bria was cool and we would be friends. And when I met you, I was like, oh yeah, we would be friends. Why did you feel that way? Like, you and Lizzie weren't even on the same team. I wish I had a better memory. But we had lunch that first Yeah, together. and I think we had a lot in common. And then when I learned that Lizzie was, like, really into Disney, I didn't realize, oh. like, she was an influencer. But when she said, yeah, I really like Disney, too, I was like, oh, my God, because I was always, like, a closeted Disney person. <laughs> <laughs> Especially in high school, like, my best friend, Allison, we used to go to Disneyland. Like, we had the pass in high school, the whole thing. Mm-hmm. But I was very closeted about it. Like, I didn't, it wasn't cool. <laughs> it wasn't cool. Uh-huh. And then, like, I think Lizzie was, like, my, my Disney awakening of, like, oh, <laughs> this is okay to be, because in college, like, I got made fun of for liking Disney. I mean... Really? Not that yeah. I don't get made fun of for liking Disney. Disney adult is, like, a, a huge joke in itself. Yeah. But it's, like... I'm not the kind of Disney adult that they mean when they're talking, joking about Disney adults, but still... Like, as we're getting older... And you've talked about this, like, embracing the cringe. Like, oh, yeah, okay. I don't care. Like, I like it. So... What's the difference between me liking Disney and, like, other people liking sports... Exactly. Mm-hmm. Nothing. I'm like, people, that's like socially acceptable, but I think it's weird to like sports like that. Like, y'all will go to a stadium <laughs> and like wear the, another man's like jersey or whatever mm-hmm. with his number like, oh. and like be cheering and screaming. That's like, my boy. Okay. Like, oh my god, yes, we won the Super Bowl. We? Like, <laughs> what did you do? We didn't do anything, man. <laughs> yeah. Sports fans, you can't come for anybody, okay? Because if we're cringy, you're cringy too. Mm -hmm. Some of them are really cringy. Like, there used to be a guy at Boulder who would literally wear, like, a barrel around his body and nothing else. No! Stop. What does that have to do with sports? (laughs) (laughs) It's not like you guys were the barrels. You guys were the buffalo. Buffalo. People come, like, dress as, like, Bumblebee from Transformers because of our school colors. It was like, what does this have anything to do? What? I don't remember what my impression of y'all was. Um, my impression of Jenny was probably like, wow... She talks a lot. She mm-hmm. asks a lot of questions. No, but, like, I really? liked that. Yeah. Hmm. I was like, thank God I don't have to carry this conversation. Like, she's got a handle. Mm-hmm. All I have to do is answer her. <laughs> answer her questions. Mm-hmm. That's what happens when you're an only child. <laughs> yeah, you learn how to talk a lot because you talk to yourself. I loved Bria because we liked... I think we bonded over, like, reality shows or, like, mm, uh, YouTubers and stuff. Yeah, we love New York. New and York? Like, the city? No, oh, like, I love New York. Oh, Not like, the city. Tiffany. <laughs> Tiffany. Okay. That's what I was like, New York. <laughs> you were my first friend that I met who 
was on the internet. And, right. Like, on YouTube. And, like, yeah. you knew who Shane Dawson was and, mm-hmm. like, stuff like that. And you were one of the only people at full screen that knew that stuff. Really? <laughs> yeah, that I could talk to. Oh. Even though we worked on YouTube? Yeah, but it was, like, other... Not that YouTube. I know, but you would think if you choose a job working with YouTube that you're familiar with YouTube. <laughs> you would think. <laughs> it was pretty wild how little people knew about, like, influencer culture and, like, internet culture. Mm-hmm. That um, was, like, a long time ago. I mean, it was just really kicking off. Sure. I, I knew enough. For normal people. For normal people. Like, <laughs> I'm like, I've been in this Like, the multi-channel network time when, like, people were monetizing it. And, yeah. Like, becoming famous and stuff. Like, I think I knew surface level. Like, I could figure it out. Mm -hmm. And I think there were some people at full screen who were like, who is, um, James Charles? Like, yeah. (laughs) He's picking some pretty problematic people. I know. (laughs) We'll shame all the people who have been canceled. Colleen Ballinger. (laughs) Okay, but I remember... When they announced their divorce, I was at oh my work, God. and I was, like, crying. No, there was so much <laughs> pop culture news that dropped at full screen, and we would all huddle around a computer and be like, oh my God. What happened? Uh, the divorce happened when we were at full screen? Yes. Yeah. And then, oh. like, the con- I remember oh. posting, like, from my on my story, or close friends, I don't know if close friends even existed back then, but... I was probably like, your Snapchat. Oh, yeah, it probably was my Snapchat because I was big into my spectacles. Um, but I was like, oh my god, I can't believe it. Like, the world is ending. Like, love is not real. What the heck? And now, ew. 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 Favorite moments together during full screen and post full screen. What are we allowed to talk about? <laughs> I'll just say the country croc is probably the mm, most iconic. Uh, iconic, yes. We can tell that story. Yeah. Uh, we were at a... A Christmas party. So I love Country Croc. It's, to me, I grew up, this was butter to me, okay? I never knew anything else. We I all really used Country Croc. We were at a holiday party, and I, there was like a buffet, and I had a roll with butter on it, and I was like, I wish they had Country Croc, but I, someone was filming me, and so I was like, I wish they had Country Croc, like, full of roll. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. I guess you had to be there. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, that party was just, like, crazy. I felt like it was so crowded. That one was at the Roosevelt? Yeah, with the bowling alley. And, and that one, there. they invited the influencers to that one, too. I, mean, we I had remember Remy Ashton. Remy was there, Jax Films was there, and that's the year I had my spectacles, and I was going around, and I was like, so this is, how, and all the videos from that night were like, yeah, so I just pressed this button, and then I looked around, and then, like, me explaining my spectacles oh my God. to everybody there. Should we the tell? spectacles is another story. That's a blast from the past. Oh, yeah, so we, <laughs> Jenny, and I, Jenny and I somehow convinced the team, our like bosses. our bosses, that we needed to go wait in line for the Snapchat spectacles because we needed them for the department. First of all, I We feel didn't like make content. You didn't even need to give that excuse because we would literally disappear and be playing fucking Pokemon no, Go No, we did. We were gone hours. for four hours. Yeah. During our lunch oh. break. This was before, like, work the from line home was and all that so was crazy. even crazy. And, and then we went to the Grove to try to get him again. Yeah, so we that was the first time was in Santa Monica. We didn't get him. Second time was in the Grove. We didn't get him. No, oh, and then you went to the slide thing in downtown, right? I didn't go to that. I had a friend go to that slide thing downtown, and they, they didn't get them. And then they got them at some other place, and then they gave them to me. Mm. I used them a lot. I will say I got you a lot a of use out of them, and they were so fun. Mm. But I'm just not on Snapchat You use them at the Nick Choice Award. Um, okay, I was gonna say what a worst client story, but like, keeping it anonymous, you have to tell the <laughs> story. Which one? <laughs> okay, I have one. It's not super crazy, but it's it's just funny. So I had this client, um, she loved me, and I liked her, I liked her, but she, it was like a weird relationship because she loved me so much that she didn't want anyone else to do anything she only wanted me to do everything so then I was like overworked and waking up at to her texts at like 5 30 a.m and she was very panicky so she made me panicky it was a very anxious anxiety inducing relationship anyways one time we were on a call and it was one of the other clients birthdays 
and she was like, okay, we're going to sing him happy birthday. Come on, Lizzie, sing. And she was like, happy birthday. And I was like, ha, 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 ha. And she's like, I don't hear you, Lizzie. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, happy birthday. Oh and then she sings the entire happy birthday song. And I was like, I thought this was like a little bit, like a little joke. No, she needed me to sing along to the entire happy birthday song for this other man. Is there not a lag on the phone? Yes, there was. It was like, happy, happy birthday. birthday. <laughs> it was so strange. And she would um, oh ask God. me to come over to fix her emails. She's like, you need to come. I'm not getting any of your emails. You need to come over here and fix my computer. And I'm like, what do you think I am? What do you think my job is? <sighs> yeah, that was unhealthy. Yeah. That unhealthy client relationship. Yeah. yeah. I'm not, I'm not going to say the name, so I'm just going to be vague about it. But do you remember the person's girlfriend that came outside of the window? Yes. To... <laughs> yes. So, so this person and their girlfriend had broken up, and we... <laughs> We knew there was some kind of drama or something, but we didn't know what it was. And then all of a sudden, like, our office was, like, a, a huge office just made of windows. Like, the walls were windows. And so we could see them outside of the office, like, in the window, like, looking through to see if they could find that person. You forgot Maybe. to mention that the cops also came. And the then the office. cops came because of that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They That's were bad. asking if so-and-so was there. And I think that the girlfriend was trying to put a restraining order on her. I thought she was putting uh, training work on the girlfriend. That's what I thought. They, I think they, because they she were was both like stalking trying to do her. It. Yeah, they were, but she, they were doing it at the same time or something. That was wild. What I was thinking of the other day, how funny it was during the all hands meetings when the CEO's assistant would just be in the back with the sign that said wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, when Cody Co worked there yeah. and they like shouted him out during the all hands. Yeah. And now look at him. He's so big. I know. His wife is pregnant. Mm -hmm. Did you see that? Kelsey's yes, pregnant. Yes, I did see that. Congratulations. Oh, How did we stay close friends? Jenny Levine. <laughs> Jenny keeps in touch with people. Like, I've never met someone who is as good at keeping in touch as you are. I I would not have kept in touch, I don't think, because I'm so bad really? at that. But we kept inviting you to every Christmas party, so we were... <laughs> That's I don't, true. But was it Jenny? Pass those mots. I don't think so. It was because of the tea. It oh, was yeah. the tea. So we had this restaurant that we would go to, and we called it the tea, where we would spill the tea, and... It got gentrified. It did get gentrified. They, Sad. like, upgraded it, and it the upgraded. food got worse, the vibe got weird. Yeah. The bikers didn't even go anymore. Right. Like, we liked it because it was kind of like a weird little hole in the wall. Dive bar. On the beach. Yeah, it was a literal dive bar, and we were getting, like, real food. Yeah. And <laughs> having full dinner. Like, well, Our have, um, a frozen margarita, please? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and a spaghetti bolognese. <laughs> that was, like, so nice. So it was a nice, like... <sighs> it was work. nice, and we all lived on the west side, so it was so easy to get to. Yeah. Um, I hope they don't watch this. Yeah. Why would they watch it? The terrace? It? The owners of the terrace? They might. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like they would be proofies. <laughs> Do y'all want to be called proofies? No. Comment below. No. Do you want to be called soundies, proofies, or lizards? Like, it's either lizards or proofies. Let well, us know. I'm, <laughs> I'm team lizard. It's It's been established as lizard for as long as okay, I Okay, so why don't you channel. open your video and say, hey, lizards? Because that she's not is a cringy girl. <laughs> I thought you just said you were embracing the cringe. But not like that. <laughs> not that no. one. There are limits. There are, I do have my Gen limits. Gen Z can sniff cringe from a mile away. So what? Even Gen Alpha's work. That's not authentic. Like, that's not who I am. You I wouldn't call me a lizard? No. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> if you want to be called lizards, please let her know. And who knows? Maybe we can get a lizard community going. What are a your Patreon? fans called? The Stews? The Stewies. <laughs> that's not even your name anymore. I know. I know. Yeah. The Max. The Mackies. Hey, Mackie. <laughs> For all of my Mackies who no. are turning in. Comment below if you would like to see the Stewies, the Mackies, or the Gallardies. Or the Bree Breeze. <laughs> Whoa. What the hell is that? That's a pazook. I thought Out of the microwave? Breeze. No, oven. Is that what oven. they look like? Yeah. yeah. Normally? Yes. Oh. What's wrong with it? It looks a little brown. I thought it was a brownie. She burnt it. Did Maybe. you burn it? No. 
Sometimes you thought it was a brownie? brownie? You can get it as a brownie. It's a cookie. No, I thought it was supposed to be a cookie, but it we is got brownie. No, no, it's a cookie. Okay. They sometimes look like that. It's it'll taste good. Was it done? Oh, you don't even on top. No. Why not? Because it gets all soggy. Yeah. That's the point. I was like, it's not really. Oh, she chases. Oh the my god! With the ice cream. That ice is not allowed. Chaser. Mm. It's an ice cream chaser. That's like people who eat cupcakes by taking the top off, flipping it, menaces. and eating it like a That's sandwich. That's an efficient way to eat it. Menaces. Are you a menace? Oh, you do that. I don't do it, but <laughs> I because it takes too much work to like. Does you know I'm marrying someone who does that? Well, it's a problem. That's your cross to bear. We will be talking about that in premarital counseling. <laughs> yeah, you gotta figure that out. God, my I with the ice cream. Okay, well then you need a fork. It's gonna have Brussels sprouts. No! Flour. I'm wiping it off! Hold on. This is what it's like being with us. No! <laughs> I did it already! It's done! What's done is done! Give it here! Um, Y'all oh. are witnessing this friendship fall apart. <laughs> You can do that. You're we in can my talk wedding. about that weird restaurant we went to that like brought out food on lawnmowers. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Bart and Jean. That is such a Jenny move to invite us to this restaurant that was so bizarre. Bart Where do we even begin? Bart and Jean's. The whole point of this restaurant is to like be a spectacle, and so they brought the not just the entrees, the appetizers, the desserts out on like these huge, crazy displays. So, let's see what's Hollywood. Um, there was like some steak or something that literally came out on a lawnmower, and we were seated right by the kitchen. So every five minutes, it was like <laughs> ring, 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 and a lot another lawnmower being carried out to another table. Yeah, we got this like carnival dessert that was this like this tall, and it was like a little tent. It had lights. There was music playing from it. It was like. I was like, we were like, excuse me, can you turn this off? <laughs> it's like the feeling of getting your, like, having them sing happy birthday for you at the restaurant, but every mm -hmm. time you get food. What, like, Disney things are you excited for? Um, well, we're going to Oogie Boogie Bash on the first week of September, and I'm very excited for that. Uh, it's one of my favorite events of the year, and it's, it's like the Disney ha Halloween event. Okay. Um, it's in DCA, and... They have, like, trick-or-treat trails everywhere with, like, different villains who are, like, really only out in this event. Can we talk about this? What? Mm. What? Why do you think you guys like Disney so much? Mm. Well, I've always liked Disney. Have you always liked it this much, even, like, when you were little? Yeah. Yeah. What did you like about it? I love the magic. I would say, like... The stories are overwhelmingly hopeful, optimistic, um, empowering good outlook, empowering. Even though they're like animated, but oh, most of them, it still is gives you a good feeling. It's like escapism, sure. What do you mean? Like how? Like giving well, you, you didn't a watch a lot of these movies. Like it gives you like, like any movie is a world to go into. Yeah, where like it's you like can reading chill a out. book, yeah. watching a movie, but like Disney is like always gonna be magical in some way, and it's like I, feel like I love little... princesses and yeah, like it's also nice for me because it's like my mom was really into it, my dad was pretty into it, like my dad was here when Disney was built, like opened, and he has all these stories about how he would take like dates to Disney and like have an e-ticket booklet and like go and like do all that and like that's just like cool to hear and for me I think being from here going there all the time like it feels like part of my identity like how the Dodgers and the Lakers feel like part of my identity because it's like where I'm from which is different from Lizzie because you're not from here but I don't know that's like for me it's like it's part of my like my trinity of things, I guess. I don't know. I think it's interesting. Like, I wasn't into Disney as a kid, 
But I did go to Disneyland a lot, and, like, mm-hmm. I'm sure I watched the movies. I don't really remember, but, like, it's just interesting how some people, like, keep that attachment. Yeah. Because I feel sister, like I grew out of it. My sister was really into Disney, so I, I mean, my both my siblings liked Disney, but, like, my sister was really into it, so then when I grew up, I was always watching the things that she was watching, and so I feel like that kind of just got instilled into me. I also think, like, social media made it more intense because I don't think a lot of things would exist um, if it wasn't for, like, Disney bounding or, like, posting, like, food recipes to, like, replicate, like, a cake from Sleeping Beauty and, like, stuff like that. So, like, it's kind of, like, if social media didn't exist, I don't know if my, like, fandom would be as, like, part of my life I think it would have just been like oh I like going to Disneyland but Mm. well yeah the Disney bounding like yeah how did you even start doing that like well when did you even learn what that was I started doing it before I knew what it was called before like the term Disney bounding even existed I remember I was in Texas I was in Austin when I was in college and I was like oh my god I'm gonna like I was on Tumblr and I was like oh my god I'm gonna I didn't but I, I did not know what Disney Bound was on Tumblr because that's where like Disney Bound really blew up was on Tumblr. I um, was like oh my god I'm gonna make outfits that like are inspired by the princesses like that would be so cute <laughs> like a little post a little video maybe. Um, I never did it. <laughs> I you bought, could have really started something. I bought I bought these like buttons that had the princesses on it. I was like oh I'll wear like the buttons with my outfit so that like. You can see, like, what it represents. Oh, that's cute. Uh, that's and I saw those buttons, but I never got around to making the actual outfits because it was, like, very soon after I moved here. And then I found out what Disney bounding was. I honestly have no idea. I, I might have seen it on Tumblr. I might have seen it on Instagram. And I was like, oh, this is, like, that thing that I was trying to do. And now it has a name. Very cool. Mm-hmm. And then we went to our first Dapper Day together where we Disney bounded. And there was a Disney bound meetup. And that's where I, like, met all of my friends oh. that I have now. I, I didn't even know what Disney bounding was, but I used to do it in high school when we had a pass. So, like, I remember, like, like you can't wear a costume to Disneyland if you're above the age of 14. So, obviously, we were a little bit above that age. So, I remember, like, wanting to, like, wear, like, an Indiana Jones t-shirt or, like, something Indiana Jones because that was, like, one of my favorite rides. So, I was like, I'll just dress like Indiana Jones and I have a picture of it still, like, coming out of the ride, like, cargo pants, like, my dad's shirt that was, like, a fishing shirt, and, like, his hat, like, a like a western hat, and then I think it was someone who shall not be named was in an article that, I think on BuzzFeed, like, about... Oh. <laughs> I know who you mean now. Yeah. It's a wedding photo shoot of a Disney bound, it's a Disney bounding, Disney inspired fake wedding shoot, and this person was the groom in that shoot, and we do not speak of him, and if you know, then you know. Yeah. But that's what kind of led me to start following him, and his girlfriend, and I think Leslie. Mm Mm-hmm. And then when I met Lizzie, I was like, whoa, you're, like, in that. (laughs) That's so cool. (laughs) Well, I remember when I met Lizzie, actually, the first time when we were talking about how much she likes Disney, I was like, does your boyfriend like Disney? Because mine doesn't really, like, get it, even though he (laughs) really likes anime. So over the years, Nico has understand, like, how much he loves anime is how much I love Disney, but he can't, like unless we lived in Japan, he can't go to a theme park about, you know, his favorite anime. So it's like, he's kind of like, ugh, you know, because he's not into the fandom. But when Lizzie told me that James, she was like, yeah, we both have passes and we go together. I was like, what? (laughs) That's so cool. I remember when I took James to Disneyland for the first time, the first time we ever gone together, and I, I wanted to get a pass before then. And he was like, I don't think you should do that. Like, I don't know. <laughs> and then we went to Disneyland together, and he's like, we have to get the pass. <laughs> <laughs> we have mucked the bong, and... Oh. I don't know if that's... A... That sounds wrong. But yeah. Um, what would do... you rate this meal? What did you like? I mean, you you finished everything. You didn't like the croutons and the salad. So you replaced them with your 
Rice cakes. Stop treats. Um, 7 out of 10? Same. I say 8 out of 10. I really love BJ's. The so. Pazuki just... BJ at home. Girl. Yeah. Those are good. Like, I would just get those and just eat that for dinner. Yeah, I mean, that's like the reason you go to BJ's. That's like, that's, that's a girl true. dinner right there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, thank you guys for coming and eating with me and talking with me. And thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye, lizards. This whole story is getting edited <laughs> out. Listen, you wanted the content, I'm giving it to you. Are we, is this part of the video? I don't think so. But this could be like the, the side outro. Bar. Click here to watch more, or subscribe. Wait, let me do that again. <laughs> now I know what it feels like to be on the other side. I make my talent do this. Thanks, lizards, for watching. Um, if you would like to subscribe and see more videos from Soundproof Liz, click here to subscribe. And click here to watch more videos. Bye. You are so rude to me. <laughs>